fifty percent of minorities voted in 1972, and the data used to establish which areas are covered obviously is now 40 years old. And Congress, however, still found that there was adequate evidence of discrimination in these areas that justifies keeping the preclearance formula in place. And A suite from The Comedians, incidental music for A Play for Kids by Russian composer Dmitry Kabalevsky, Sir Charles Groves, and the... It justifies keeping the preclearance formula in place. And I have to point out that the vote in Congress was nearly unanimous. Now, four years ago, there was a constitutional test of that extension. Yes, and the court, by an 8-to-1 vote, upheld it. The opinion, however, by Chief Justice John Roberts went out of its way to suggest that the law might have outlived its usefulness. And Roberts has been a longtime critic of the law. So it's not surprising that given the author and the tone of the opinion that the issue is back. Why is it not surprising, Nina, if the, if the court upheld the law four years ago, why take another look now? Well, the court warned Congress that this law didn't look real kosher anymore and that they really ought to do something about it. So it isn't surprising that it's back again. Okay, and here's Nina Totenberg talking about the Supreme Court's announcement that it will review the constitutionality of the Voting Rights Act. Nina, thanks so much. Thank you, Melissa. is very, very unique. They describe the history with so many detailed pictures. So I think this is interesting because it's art plus politics. Many